YouTubers, Mike Walgerman with Michael Liam's Mushroom Rangers. Today I'm going to show you my lab and a good easy way, cheap way to do petri dishes using half pint wide mouth mason jars. And as you can see, here's my flow hood. It is a positive pressure system. Uh, as you can see, the ducting gets piped in from the outside there's a filter and then it runs down through it's got another pre-filter and it comes out through this so basically what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to uh, in the next video how to inoculate these and use the master slants uh, a good this uh, this is a good way to use wide mouth mason jars if you don't have access to a flow hood if you have a steel air box um, as you can see I have petri dishes back there but I live a half hour away and I have no way to sterilize my agar so this is the this is the quickest and the safest way I know how so if I can prop it up here somehow I'll just show you real quick it's going to be a short video. I've already, I've already sprayed everything down with isopropyl and alcohol. 50-50, 50% distilled water, 50%, 90% isopropyl and alcohol. I'm just going to spray down these paper towels. I'll just spray down the, the pressure cooker. And then I'm going to honestly open it. give you a real quick view of what it looks like in there see pretty much these are agar dishes but in a wide mouth mason jar along with master slants that I'll be inoculating so sorry I don't have one of those handy dandy fancy things so I'm just gonna unload all of them in front of the flow hood they've been sitting for a couple of days so they're nice and solidified Somebody will say, hey, yeah, I forgot to spray my hands down with isopropyl and alcohol. That's all right. It's pretty sterile in here. Next thing I'm going to do. just a short quick video of how to use mason jars as petri dishes the good thing about these they're reusable they're washable 
you can pour the agar right out in the open and then you just wait like 20 minutes to it so it cools down so you don't get water um, floating around on top of the agar like you would with a, a petri dish so you just wait till it cools throw it in a pressure cooker pressure cook for 45 minutes walk away so next step will be i'll show you how to inoculate these it's going to be a little bit different from the petri just because you got to unscrew and then hold it and then it's, it's basically the same way it's just it's a it's it's a deeper pocket and it just works the same way bam screw it back on parafilm if you don't have parafilm a good trick that eric myers shout out to eric myers mushrooms he took a saran wrap and he just cut it with a knife into rolls about like that and then you can just use saran wrap like you would parafilm uh, I would use the saran wrap only if you're going to be like using these within the next week or the next couple days uh, if you're going to store them long term then I wouldn't recommend parafilm but if you're in a pinch and you need something keep contaminants out and it's not it doesn't help with gas exchange but it'll help keep the contaminants out as long as you're going to use them within a week or so you should be fine so again that's just a quick video thank you make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that like button and keep mushrooming I don't want to steal Myers line but keep rocking on thanks